Sonny, what is this? What is this? Uh, under the, the nail gun. So this was under the floorboard. That's the nail from the nail gun. And they left that under the floorboard. Yeah. How many cigarettes do you think we're gonna find when we get to that section? Cigarettes. Are you looking at? You look, look at the nails. Oh, strip of nails. Yeah. It's hard to load a half strip, so if you break the strip, you just throw it away. Yeah. Under the floor. Under the floor. Nobody's gonna find it. No, no nobody will ever find it. Well, usually they charge extra for cigarette butts, so if you find any, make sure you keep it. What? what you so these are 4x8s, right? So yeah. every 4 feet apart, it has to be on a stud. You're an inch off over there, you're kind of on it, but there's, there's really no support. Like all these have to be straight down. Well, you know, this is bound to like collapse in. Lovely. Even though, look, 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 this is how, this is how this stays up, right? <clears throat> So this whole joist, you have to have shims underneath, but you have this on it. So even, look, look. You got this down. This is not screwed in already. It's bad enough that you don't have shims underneath. Look, this is, oh, this is their shim. Look, look. Oh my God. <laughs> look at the shim. Look at the shim. <laughs> look at the shim. Look at the shim. So, I mean, this is, oh, they hooked you up with the premium stuff. These are actually, CDX plywoods. These are CDX plywoods. CDX plywood. These are the premium stuff, Lewis. Look. <laughs> Look at these. These are the <laughs> these are the real good stuff. Oh yeah, compared to this. Oh, yeah. <sighs> they hooked you up real good. <laughs> they hooked you up. Oh yeah. <clears throat> but you really need to put some love into it. You really gotta give this floor a good fucking. Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're gonna be looking at contractor C, who is Sonny. Some people asked, why would you consider Sonny? Isn't that the guy that you mentioned in a video six years ago that you fired? Yes, I did fire him seven years ago. And I have to look at what he's done since that occurred. I think a lot of people see firing as this permanent branding of failure on an individual just due to the, you know, the, the harshness of the word, firing. And I have fired a lot of people. Now, one of the things that I like to look at is what is it that you've been doing since you were let go? Some people may not do a job at all. Some people may just go on bumbling around doing crap work for other businesses. So let's just take a look at what Sonny's done in the time since I let him go. He opened up his own store at a block that has more expensive real estate than mine, about three blocks, four blocks down at St. Mark's Place. And in that store, he has amassed over the past seven years more and better reviews than I have. If you look him up on Yelp, his reputation is actually better than mine, even though that I had a four to five year head start on him. And that's something that he genuinely earned through busting his ass and doing an incredible amount of hard work. He actually paid to show up at practical board repair school about five years ago, as you can see in this old video here. So he put in effort to learn how to do work so that he could offer good service to his customers. And he clearly offered great service to his customers, as you can see from the reviews, reviews that he has online. I've kept in touch, not kept in touch as often as I should have, but I have kept in touch with him and I'm honestly proud of what it is that he was able to build and what it is that he was able to do. He took something that is a sad moment of getting fired and he turned it into, you know what, not only am I going to do well in this field, but I'm going to do better than you, Lewis, and I'm genuinely proud of him for what he's able to achieve. Sonny got his contractor's license a few years back, and he actually helped me with the floor in my office. I remember in some of the older videos, my floor was doing this, and it was really aggravating, and it had a hole right under my chair, and his gentleman fixed that up really, really quickly. He was also present at the video where I got a $150,000 quote to do one room in 30th Street, and he was laughing in that video, as were we all. Now, he's freed up a little bit now, so he decided to come by, take a a look see if there's anything he can do and help me with the uh, you know organizing this mess and I genuinely appreciate him taking the time all right everybody over here we have Sonny you may remember him from a practical board repair school the Samsung phone video and also he helped me do the floors in my office when that hole that was getting in it started aggravating me so he's actually done stuff for me before we have a scope of work here that I will post in the video it's organized by general plumbing electrical uh, painting, HVAC, and garbage. So let's go through and start from the very beginning here. How are you doing today, son? Not bad. All right. So the first is this. You see this thing over here? Yeah. We're kind of worried that there's a reason that this is cracking over here and like coming up. 
you can't really know until yeah. we take it out. The next is removing this, this beautifully done wall over here. I think Paul already charged into it for, for the hell of it because you can see that this is bent off. Yeah. All right. Next item on the list is uh, demolishing this deck over here. The fourth is removing all of this floor tile, this old junk, because yeah. a lot of it is damaged under there anyway. And the next is uh, fixing the Crazy. yeah, like fixing the wall and floor uh, and ceiling damage over here by the front. So you have some there, like some over here. The next is uh, installing a door on the bathroom in the office. We'll be providing you the doors. Uh, putting, yeah, let me show you the office wood that he got, by the way. There were a lot of people on, on the stream saying that your criticisms of that wood were unfair. It's fine. Me? Yeah, yeah. So everything is as good as you make it to be, right? Yeah. So you don't, you don't even have to tell how, well, this is how you tell how good a floor is. You see those black dots? The yeah. small eyes I showed you last time, the, they, they said that those are the end piece. Why is the end piece doing here? Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, there's fucking eyes everywhere, right? But can you make it nice? Yeah, but you really need to put some love into it. You really gotta give this floor a good fucking... Well, you were... <laughs> <laughs> You know, you were suggesting that I just get a specific type of wood from Home Depot and just have you put it down. Yeah, just hollow floor, that's finished, and then we'll just put it in. Alright. And then you could finish those, you could, fin you could sand those off and finish them uh, as many times as you and want. If we were going to put, install a vinyl, it's a vinyl floor into the space and you said I provided the tile. Uh, Paul had something in mind to pick out. Yeah. And yep. Now, uh, you said you would have to see what this looks like under it to get an idea of how difficult it is to level out the yeah. wavy areas. I'm not expecting Rick and Morty's true level anymore. That idea has gone out the window. But what I want is I just don't want the, like the air. There are some areas where it, I don't mind if it does this, but there are some areas where it does this, like the hole in my office yeah. that you helped me with two years ago. And that's the stuff that I'm most concerned with. So the one in your office, because your office is not that big, what we did to level it, we just put a couple pieces of plywood like these. Yeah. So uh, they will fill in the bumps and then we put uh, laminate on top of it. But this is a big space. So and I don't know how the pitch is. I don't know how it looks underneath. The problem with me giving you a call, not seeing it. If this is not, not here, I could definitely give you a call. The problem is like I told you, average is about, you know, four dollars a square foot to level a, a place decently. Not great, not bad, but you'd be like, hey, Sonny, uh, the floor is not level. How much do you have to pay me to not level the floor? You know, you're gonna give me two thousand dollars and the floor is to not level the floor. Sure, I'll take your two thousand dollars and not level the floor. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Right. So you'd have to see it. So which yeah. would mean ripping this. It's almost stuff. like somebody bringing a map up to you. But, oh, this is liquid damage. Some guy took uh, took a look at it down the block, but I want you to give me a call to fix it right now without opening it up. Yeah, that makes sense. So we have to open <laughs> this thing up before we can get you, before you can give us a good idea. Yeah. All right, now uh, the rest was install the floor molding and we would provide it. Yeah, so those come in a row, uh, it's also super cheap. Oh, oh, this is funny. This is called a header, right? Yeah. This wood has to come out to this end and the other end. You see they cut it short? Yeah. This is not the proper way to do it. I mean, does it matter? No. But this is very Chinese of them, right? This one, so here's the problem. Sorry, you're Chinese. <laughs> yes, I know, but I have standards. But there's only so many of these doors you can put up before the building collapse, right? So you go on YouTube and see like all the bridges collapsing is because they'd be like, hey, put four beams here. But they're like, oh, four is too many, we'll put three. <laughs> and then that's how, that's how they collapse. It really is. Right, so the next up was for plumbing. The only thing under plumbing was replacing this radiator in the front with some sort of baseboard. Yeah. Okay, now for electrical work, we wanted to install four light switches for the four separate circuits. So you have three rows of lights up there, yeah. and then you have one set of lights up here. Yeah. And we, we also wanted to take the junction box that's hanging from the ceiling front area that just got, and ha put that up there and have an access panel for it. So I asked Paul this, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you want an access panel? Why don't you just... Access panel is easier to do. Why don't you just patch it in? When you wire it correctly, you just patch it in. You never have to touch it ever again. 
not a bad idea. Right? Once you wire correctly, because right now it's not wired correctly. Uh, that, that, you have three lights or two, or two light switches. Uh, that doesn't look like there's enough wire going to it. I was looking at that earlier. So once you wire it correctly, everything get pushed back. If you're not gonna have the, the wall over here, we'll move the outlet to this wall. And you just have four light switches. Well, yeah, I guess you can have four light switches here. Do you want the front light switch to be in the front? I think the front light switch being in the front makes sense. But if it's easier to put it here, I honestly don't, it doesn't make a difference to me. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Like it, it makes more sense for it to be in the front, but if it takes more effort, at this point, I, it's, it's not like that. That's luxury. That's not something that yeah. I really care about. The, so the next up for electrical was putting a junction box for power where the front counter was going to be. And uh, Paul, I guess I has a drawing with that. Junction box for the front counter. It's, he said, do you want that to extend all the way to the front? Or do you just want some outlet over here? I'm just thinking for, let's say, if counter is here. How's the, how's the counter going to go? It's going to go this way? No, it's going to go just straight across like oh, this. Oh, it's going to go straight across. Yeah, we're, 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 the, the L, we're oh. not doing the L. I'm, do, I'm using Jeff's design. So okay. the counter, and Paul has a drawing that has where all the outlets go on it. We're going to have a counter here, probably a little bit further back, and so, we just need outlets to go along the counter. So you just have to put this, put the table onto this, right? Yeah, pretty much. And I got, a, I got a drawing for you of it. Uh, next up is one 220 volt outlet on each wall, so on the left and the right. Yeah. Particu and I want the 220 for the Zalmo to be as close to Paul's desk as possible. In fact, I Where's only Paul's want desk? his desk to have 220 so that he can't do anything but Zalmo. Where's Paul's desk? <laughs> I'll show you the picture. And uh, next in the office have one 220 volt outlet. You say you have one. You just have yeah, yeah, I just got to lower it. So we have one, but it's, it, it's placed in this really strange place. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not tall enough to use that. You're probably tall enough to use that. Okay. So that's fine. That's a dirty, that's a dirty app. And the next was install a two gang box in the ceiling above the counter and run that along with the front lights because we wanted to have those televisions that Jeff showed in the picture. So yeah. when we turn off the front lights, the televisions will turn off along with it rather right. than... Okay, now for painting, it was just paint two coats of neutral beige like in the picture. I'll provide you the paint. You don't want the purple? Hmm? Eh, I like his idea, honestly. It's good, and, and he didn't do enough coats of this. He never got to finish because I fired him. What so, about the office? You want to keep it purple? The office, I'm just gonna keep because he finished that, and nobody's gonna see the office but me. And I kind of like the purple because it's it keeps me keeps me calm. So this is it keeps you me. You want uh, new door moldings or just fix up? Don't worry about the door moldings. That's something like we'll do that later. Okay. That's something like all anything that's like a little luxury like that is just something that. Paul and I will wind up doing later. So that we didn't include that in the it's scope old. of work. Yeah, just the floor moldings. So for painting that and don't paint the bathroom, the bathroom can stay as is. Uh, for the now HVAC work, we just want to move this to the, yeah, move that AC to the side wall. They're probably in the basement. If not, I'll just get you a door. Okay. I'll get you a $600, $600 industrial door. It's 60 bucks. Stop triggering me, Sam. Oh, but they're 600, they're close. They're very close to 600. Yeah, so moving this AC to the side wall. These are closet doors. Yeah, these are closet doors. Oh, look at this. What? Yeah. You see what's wrong with this? They didn't even put the groove in. Look. Look, so. Oh, that looks like dog shit. <laughs> what? Explain what you're laughing at. It's for not the cleanly cut. You see, it looks so. Yeah, look how coarse. jagged that is. Yeah, my bedroom door at home looks much better than this. My deaf grandfather <laughs> can do a better job than that. <laughs> Sorry, for this. And. Look, look, this is how it's supposed to look, right? Yeah. Uh... You see? But they even cut this. <laughs> So look at that, look at that. They didn't even bother cutting it out for this one. Yeah. Go back to this, I don't know if you get it. <laughs> All right. uh, last up was a uh, garbage disposal. So uh, we I would- I will take 
right? We talked about, I'll take most of the trash, but I'm not going to take the floor and uh, the plywood. Yeah, so just, can you let me know a day or two before you need it? And I'll just, and I'll get you a dumpster from our carding company. Oh, okay. So you don't want any, uh, so you want me to take no garbage. That's even better. Yeah, I can take all the garbage. Okay. I just need you to let me know two days in advance. They okay. said that they can get a cart the same day, which I take that to mean two days in advance because <laughs> okay. I know my carting company. Okay. But I've had them help me with taking stuff in the basement before. They're good at getting me a dumpster to throw, the, throw away any sort okay. of rubbish like that. So that's about it. So what are your thoughts on that general scope of work? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's exactly what we talked about, right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Besides, oh, uh, before you got here, Paul said he wanted uh, kitchen cabinets. Think? Yeah, he was talking about that. Eugene had said, you know, I can get you a kitchen. I can get you a, a sink here yeah. for six thousand dollars. That I was. Thought, I thought Paul uh, was gonna install himself. I have sinks and I have I have. Luggage. Let's stay off of anything that's not on this sheet, Sonny. Okay. So any like wish list ideas that Steve okay. or Paul or Erica I'll or even I have. We, we let's stick to the sheet as no, it's written. Yeah. I'll bring it up to you like when we're about to finish. Yeah, then, that's gonna be quick. Cool. Uh, anything, I don't, even if it is, like having, having a break room yeah, with no, a sink look, look, and a little microwave. Yeah, we gotta focus I was telling Paul, why don't you just eat it? This is gonna be a great clean room. <laughs> yeah, this would be a great clean room. He's right above the sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> with, no, uh, no, with no light. Yeah, no light. But Sonny, <laughs> n nothing, every, only what's on that sheet. Okay. Do what's on the sheet, fuck everything else, fuck a little extra here, extra there, or Steve or Paul, or even I come to you and say something else. We, we do what's on the sheet, and that is that. No extra little nice things because that's just gonna make things complicated. Get the molding there. Cool. I'll let also. Oh yeah, he, he started putting this up so that he could pretend that he was. Oh yeah, uh, that's what a contractor does all the time. Yeah, no, he was. No, the guy was telling me he's like, yeah, he was putting this up there so it looks like they can get to the next stage because the guy was still painting when he was putting this up. Yeah. He was still painting. So you you don't. This is like. So you do this from the begin from the uh, beginning to the end, right? So you don't do this in the halfway, you know? You don't you don't start something halfway. You either do it from the end to the beginning or you do it begin to the end. So you st you start over there and brought it all the way over there. <coughs> no child labor, son. Oh yeah, so I don't know how you run Simple Mac, but we don't have can child you, labor. Can you leave Simple Mac on this? <laughs> No, we were joking about the raising the bathroom thing, and he said you could raise the you could keep this floor and fix it, and then raise the bathroom. But if you want to keep it cheap, you raise the bathroom and you don't raise the sink. This way, it's easier for you to have child labor like Foxconn. And it's like, what the fuck? Well, Mac, it's okay. Not busy during the winter time. You guys busy? Usually, summer is more busy, right? Yeah. I think the busiest month here was either October or November. I think it was October. Yeah. That was crazy. But Every died, single slot was full and like... It dies down a lot. What are you gonna put the cues? Yeah? On top of the tables, right? I, yeah, I was thinking of having them having a pass-through shelf that was right behind, or some sort of shelf that's right behind the counter. And then from there, they can just take them and bring them to their tables. Right here? That was the purpose of this frame. Uh, yeah, that was gonna be the purpose of this that's frame. Exactly why I have it. Do you think it's uh, salvageable? Having this setup? I, so my idea was you could, make, you could extend this out and then you could just go as far as you want this way. So you can move the wall back if you want to. I don't even back. want a wall, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, but if you don't want a wall, you don't. No wall. But you can, yeah, you can put a pass through shelf here. But then again. Hey, Paul, what do you think of this floor? Fuck this floor. What are you gonna do to this floor? Get another, get another one. Oh, 